Ronasol is customized to, <laughs> I think, who we are. I've been in the industry for 20 years. So probably for 10 of those years, I'm like, I want to open up a coffee shop. It became real when my sister was like, I'm going to go on this journey with you. But we just definitely went through the steps of trying to figure out how to open a business. We didn't know. Apparently, a lot of our fans already do know you. Like, <laughs> they were telling us through the social media page that you know, a lot of people were playing, you got to go to Nirvana Soul, you got to check it out. For us, it's about joy and celebrating achievements and community. It's everything that Nirvana Soul already represents all year long. So even if folks are coming around in February, <laughs> we always say you'll come here maybe because we're black owned or because it's Black History Month. But once you get here, it's undeniable that this is somewhere you need to stay. Sometimes you do just need to get your foot in the door yes. and let your work speak for itself. Like the energy here is contagious. Like when I walked in, I was noticing all the artwork. I definitely know that other people who walk in feel that way too. We knew that we wanted to work with the community to get artwork for our walls, and we started with a couple of murals. Akeem Rahim, who's up right now for our Black History Month exhibit, he told us he didn't typically put his work up in San Jose. He had nowhere to take it. And, and he's from here? He's yes. from here. And, and he couldn't find anywhere? Couldn't find anywhere. He would take it out to Oakland or wherever just to get it displayed. And once he found a home here, he's been with us ever since. That's awesome. I mean, you want something that you create to be a platform for others. For you to be having kind of this community hub almost, I would consider it special and it's growing. There's a lot of struggle when it comes to being black, but I think what's not shown enough is just how joyful it is being black too. Like right. We yeah. have so much to offer. And for me, that's a radical act just as much as any, right? Mm. That we can smile and laugh through everything we've been through right. as a people. Um, and we hope that that's how people feel when they're in here. They're inspired yes. and they can sort of reframe what they think it means to be black. Everyone has their own separate experience, mm -hmm. but when you come into the cafe, when you come onto the field, you're unified by that one thing. Mm -hmm. Everyone can enjoy blackness. Like it, it's, not, <laughs> it's not something to fear. It's not something to run away from. It is for everyone. So I hear you got a special drink tonight. Mars Creation. Yeah, this is Mars Creation. It's actually a blue vanilla latte mm. for you guys' colors, of mm. course. Just topped with whipped cream and milk sprinkles. of choice and sprinkles and espresso. I did taste it the other day and I was, I mean, super proud.